to Genesis Improvement Lean Concept Training, sponsored by the SME Student Chapter. Congratulations. By pursuing your degree here, you, you demonstrate that you're willing to do things to improve your way of life, be it your working, social, and our home life. And by participating in this, we're going to teach you a few other things you can do, some added benefits to help improve that way of life. By participating and demonstrating a personal initiative to continue to improve your knowledge and capabilities, introduces you to current trends in the industry, helps you demonstrate knowledge in some of these new trends, enhance your skill sets, helps differentiate your degree from similar degrees from other higher education sources and enhances your value, not only to yourself, but also worth to your potential employer. We've had people, this is the second round of this, we've had people go to the Dan Burton presentation and add in the introduction to skill that this does not certify you for anything but introduces to you to a number of different items. One of the guys came back and said the first three companies he talked to said gee you don't only have a technical degree but you also have some knowledge or introduction to lean concepts. You know that puts you right up on the top of the list of what we're looking for? He said well I didn't but that's good. What are these continuous improvement concepts? We're going to, I'm going to lean very closely to some of the Japanese information on this. They per perfected this after World War II. After World War II, they, they had no industry base at all. So they had to build it up from scratch. Okay, this is to eliminate waste and prevent defects in their production. And these concepts now are currently being applied in numbers numerous industries as you can see here and the goal of lean is to help the customer receive these product or service the meter exceeds their quality cost and time expectations we'll talk more about that a little later why should we use these old techniques that we we have helped develop this was perfected by japan well they had a real problem as we mentioned before building up their manufacturing base, but they come over here to see how Henry Ford did it and all this good stuff and some of the other things were done and thought it was great. Except they had an additional problem. They didn't have money to throw at the problem like we did. So they had to look at it from a different point of view. First off, they had to define what their real resources are. And they come to the determination it was their people. Their motivated and, and innovative employees was their key factor. So based on that, they fashioned a grand bargain. They had some uh, labor unions and stuff they deal with too, and the people. So here's the grand bargain. The employees were given lifetime employment and were paid based on seniority. The job was redefined into two equal parts. Do the work and improve the work. And management still had the responsibility for training their people and maintaining an environment that motivated and got their uh, employees to be involved. Now that's something we haven't, I haven't grown up with. I've grown up in the ROI, return on investment deal. The employee here is key to their being able to do it. A motivated and involved employee and management is responsible for training them and maintaining an environment that continues to motivate and involve these employees. And for proof of whether it works or not, I would suggest you compare Toyota with, uh, you know, I mean General Motors. Toyota has been beating them off and on. They're pretty close together, but remember General Motors had about a 30 year head start on Toyota. Incentives for, for participating in lean. At the end of each training session, you will receive an SME certificate from the student chapter for having been introduced to the concept. 
If we have an industry presenter, which we've had five or six this year already, in various areas, you get a letter of participation. If it includes training, you may get both a letter of participation and an SME certificate, which looks good in your portfolio. Each training session will introduce you to one of the integrated concepts that have been developed to help Toyota overtake General Motors, as an example. And I meet every month up in Lafayette at a, uh, with an organization called Wabash Valley Lean Network with about 75 to 100 industry officials, which represent 40 to 50 potential employers. And they meet primarily for one reason, that is to listen to other people's presentations, learn how to use Lean better in their companies. You can also, it's the, third, the first third of every month, if you have that available and are interested, uh, I can put your name in as a guest and it'll probably be approved. You can go as well if you want to. Now, for this training, we develop, we're drawing a number of uh, sources. The primary ones are the four books in which we train for. And one of the things you can do following this training, if you so choose, is to study for and set for an SME, ASQ, AME sponsored lean bronze certification exam. That's the only thing in this whole exercise that costs you money. Right now it's about $125 a person as a student <laughs> member of SME. But here are the four books that they recommend we study. Lean Thinking, Banish Ways to Create Wealth in Your Corporation. Gimba Kaizen, A Common Sense Low Cost Approach to Management. Lean Production Simplified and learning to see. We'll go through that a little bit more, okay, when we get into value stream mapping. Now, we offer four major opportunities in this exercise. Like I mentioned, the industry presentation, we have people come in. The last one we had was a co-author of Healthcare Kaizen, uh, Joe Swartz. And I pulled a lot of stuff from healthcare industry because for twofold. The first book, Lean Hospitals, assumed that you either didn't know much about lean or what you knew was probably incorrect. So in that book, Mark Raven kind of brought us up how to, how to lay the foundation, how to begin to build the walls of the organization we'd like to become. In the next book, the Healthcare Kaizen book, he and Mr. Schwartz, as you'll see, you stick around for the second half of this, developed a nice, easy five-step process to do Kaizen's, which is the whole idea of continuous improvement. Another possibility here is the Lean Concept Training, <laughs> like this afternoon. Since I'm taping it on the camcorder, if that works out well and I can burn some CDs, I'll offer it to instructors if they want to add in some training in their class. And then, as I've already mentioned, I believe, participating as my guest at the Wallbacks Valley Lean Network meetings. A little more about those presentations. Uh, like I said, once or twice a quarter we had try to have someone in here to talk about various things. We've had visual management, we've had Gimba Kaizen, we've had uh, healthcare Kaizen, number of numerous other things that are also helpful. With your questions and fellow student questions and occasionally industry visitors in here, various places, asking questions and sorting it out, we learn from each other and also from the presenter. This provides a good opportunity to complement the value of what you learn here. Just a sample of some of the training we, we look at or we will include in this is Kaizen, of course, continuous improvement, Lean Six Sigma, now like I said, this does not get you a certification in Lean Six Sigma. It's not a black belt certification, but it will provide you an introduction to it. It's what to look for, 5S. That one is a sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. In the first book, Gimba Kaizen Low Cost Manufacturing Approach, Mr. Amani had a list of 21 companies in the back of his book that he had consulted with and helped solve some of their problems, <coughs> 21 of those companies. 12 or 13 of those companies, he was able to help fix their problems using 5S alone. So it's not just a cleaning program that your grandmother likes to see you clean up your room. It's a lot more than that. 
and lead you into TPR and lead you into being able to see the, the problems. Just in time production, that is where we're really headed. That is the ultimate. We want to deliver what the customer needs, wants, on a time, in a timely fashion. Value stream mapping. We'll take about an hour and a half on one of these trading mapping and we'll have a company and we'll show you how on one piece of paper, yeah, it's 11 by 17, but that's right, I still want sheet of paper, approximately, map this whole process so you can see it with all of its warts and weights and everything else that's currently going on. And then we'll share with you some steps we can take to help improve it. That was called the current state, what we call the current state. Develop the future state, try to help improve it.